welcome to Take Root. Well, it's February here in Northwest Arkansas and time to think about doing our spring pruning. Now, this was a small crate myrtle that was severely damaged several years ago in one of our Arkansas winters. It actually died all the way down to the ground. So today we're going to do some selective pruning to rejuvenate it and get it off to a good start this year. Crete myrtles bloom on new growth, so pruning them in early spring helps them to bloom better. Starting at the bottom of the plant, clean away any leaves and debris so that you can see all the trunks. The habit of the crepe myrtle is to produce multiple trunks, which can cause the plant to get crowded as it matures. Because this crepe myrtle died to the ground year before last, I am going to pick the strongest, straightest trunks to help the plant get reestablished. First, cut out any dead or diseased wood and any branches that cross each other. Allowing branches to rub against each other could wound the branch and cause disease. Prune suckers and unwanted trunks as close to the soil line as possible. This will avoid leaving a dead stub, which is unsightly and a potential entry for insects and diseases. A healthy, well-structured crepe myrtle will have only a few main trunks. I usually choose three, five, or at most seven main branches. Next, prune out the crown. Because this is a young crepe myrtle, I will start the branching at about four feet off the ground. A good portion of the upper branches will have been removed when you pruned out the trunks but you still need to thin the crown to improve the tree's look and health. Remove excess branches in the interior of the plant to allow for better air circulation and sunlight to penetrate. This will reduce the potential for diseases like powdery mildew. Your final cuts will be to prune out any branches or stems smaller in diameter than a pencil. Leaving wood that small on the tree results in weak new growth, which will have a difficult time supporting any flowers. And there we have it, a properly pruned crepe myrtle. Just nine more to go. For the Benton County Master Gardeners, this is Beth Strickland and Take Root.